Top Gear presenter Freddie Flintoff is in the money as his company's assets have risen by an impressive £500,000 in a year despite being off TV screens since his crash. This will be some good news for the former cricketer who was badly injured while he was filming a stunt for the hit BBC show on December 13, 2022. The presenter suffered serious facial injuries and broken ribs after he and a crew member were going 130 miles per hour in an open-top, three-wheel Morgan Super 3 that flipped at Dunsfold Park Aerodrome, Surrey. The star is still recovering from his injuries and in the aftermath of the accident, the BBC has pulled his shows from schedules. Production on Top Gear has been halted and last month it was reported that Freddie won't return to BBC's Field of Dreams. The show followed him as he searched for unrecognized cricketing talent and assembled teams like no other. Despite these disappointments, he can take solace in the fact that his net assets have shot up from six pounds. 5 meters to more than 7 million pounds, according to filings for the last financial year. In company accounts which were filed in March and seen by Express. Co.uk, his company had 7 million 40 thousand 43 pounds in net assets, compared to 6 million 514 thousand 703 pounds the year before. Meanwhile, £450,677 in dividends was taken, slightly more than the £392,737 taken the year before. The accounts detail the period to June 2022 and were signed off by his wife Rachel, 45, who is also a director of Freddie Flintoff Enterprises Limited. The couple have been married since 2005 and share four children. Don't miss! Abby Clancy shares vile seduction move husband Peter Crouch uses, Insight, Coronation guest finally speaks out after Meghan Disguise claim, Insight, Andrew Lloyd Webber responds after man in disguise neighbor goes viral, Insight, Freddie joined the Top Gear presenting team in 2016 alongside Patty McGuinness and Chris Harris. He isn't the first presenter to endure a horror smash during filming for the show. In 2006, Richard Hammond spent a fortnight in a coma after he crashed a jet-powered dragster called Vampire at nearly 320 miles per hour, 515 kmph, while filming for the show at the former RAF Elvington Air Base near York. He recovered from his injuries and returned to the show in 2007, but in February last year he revealed that he had a lot of residual issues because of the accident speaking to podcast host Stephen Bartlett on his Diary of a CEO podcast he said his injuries could mean there is an increased risk of a condition linked to memory loss. I have to consciously write memories down and work hard to recall them sometimes, he confessed. It might be because I'm 53, it might be because I'm working a lot and I'm tired, it might be the onset of something else, he explained. He added that he probably needs an MRI scan and also said he was quite forgetful as a person, explaining, I do drop the ball, I forget stuff, I forget keys. That's just me, that's not a function of something going wrong. It's how I am.